Kenway. Not a bad looking tinder box you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I have no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. We're looking out for merchants, boys! Them that's fat with cargo! Find us a schooner with that spyglass, Kenway. You'll get yourself a glimpse of what sort of cargo they're shipping, and a general idea of their toughness. You won't find nothing squinting into the sun like that. Use your glass. Oh, do me Johnny Boker, the boatswain is a tailor. Do me Johnny Boker, too. Oh, do me Johnny Boker, we'll all go on a jamboree. Do me Johnny Boker. There's a prize worth taking. Good. Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, Project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell over soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy... snap at any moment and unseam them from prick to stern. Fire what cannons you will and land a few strikes if you must, but for God's sake don't sink them. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea, although it can be done. Schooner! They're all alone, sir! I've found the ship, can we? Ah! 
She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water. So keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her. Lay up alongside her. in close. We'll ready the grapnels. Take the prize! Quick and bloody! Bring them in for a steely kiss! Tengo un buen día, señor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English? L little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? <laughs> Please to repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock him in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. Clues down! Catch some wind! Get up those shrouds! Let's move! You young sailor men, listen to me. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea. Yes, to him, has got 
gathers the more scuttles. Grappling hooks away. Let's to the prize. Good take today, can we? Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jackdaw. Trinkets. Sod it, you. I'm looking for a prize that'll set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies, then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be, not England. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, you just split it and sail home. Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. Let's ride the squall. We get to the water sea gates. Goodbye, very well. Goodbye, very well. Sally and Polly for the flash men do wait.
I would say the danger has passed. ¿Necesita algo? Bad take today. Keep this up, and NASA will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here. Praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly it proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lent you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own, Mona. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Ready for this, Kenway? She won't go. Down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that break, lads? So die! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to corners. All hands to cannons. Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels. Fine, good thinking. On your mark, Captain! Fire! Take a shot! Right there, sir! Race 
for impact! As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of... ...military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Sail ho! Military class brig on the horizon! Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? So die! That's a sound I like to hear. Hide to quarters! 
All hands to cannon! Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire on broadside. Let's test those powder barrels against them, shall we? Aye, good thinking. That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and bribe our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official. See the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. ¿Puedo ayudarlo con algo?
hecho. ¡Suerte! Want to be left in peace, my friend? You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, it's hard. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming all about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. A plantation? It's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Away. Still alive, I think. Ugh. <sighs> 
Something on your mind, Captain? Come back any time. Why, look. It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that would earn you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him, and he'll lead you straight to your prize. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You might not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with the chap just now. We came to fight and understand. As you see, sir. Get back here! Hold up and unfurl, boys. We're going home. Heavens me. You have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping with. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. 
I like this idea. Get those bars free! Let's see that dock! Luzo, let's move! I know she's a good sailor. Now prove it, my trumps! Patrol these waters closely, Captain. Hold at it. There's trouble of four. I see them. Hold at it. There's trouble of four. I see them. Say the danger has passed. This man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked at plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous, too. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like, toiling on a plantation day and night? Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers and crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Loose main sails! They are locked. Do not leave them muzzled. Call 
down and clue up! Get the main screen! Get on that main seat! Trim to! Hold down! Hold down! Take them all in! Fall! Fall! That wind's no small gale, sir. Dark skies and rough seas there! Loose and catch the wind! Soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackpot. Captain's trick. Unfold mains, let's move! Fall all! Fall, fall for all your work! Happen here? Why such disarray? Bit of a do, sir. That's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. It's no bother, sir. We've everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirate. It was uncommonly large for such rifles. Certainly wasn't a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're piss drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! I'll not have you through your back. We're not done here, Smith. Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. Use your knees, lad. Hmm? I'll not have you through your back. Heavy or not, it's all got to be moved, lads. Hmm. With gumption. Hello! Help me! <laughs> ah. We're not done here, 
Sir Smith. You can gob later. Up. Heavy or not, it's all got to be moved, lad. Gumption. We're not done here, Smith. You can gab later. Heavy or not, it's all got to be moved, lads. With gumption. And I'll hear no more complaints. You're paid to work. We're not done here, Smith. There'll be a welcome treat regardless of where they came from. Use your knees, lad. I'll not have you through your back. I'm left to the entire force. <laughs> <laughs> Too much action.
Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous, free, and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. Truth. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these tablets claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? That's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. We'll make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. Jackdaw handles nice. Pinched her from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Gavel, love, hurricane. Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I must agree. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way.
of the wind! All weather there, Captain! Brace yourself! That ship's a monster. Look at the size of her. Aye. And we'd not last long face to face with her. Hear that, can we? Keep your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors us. And the cover of darkness, most likely. Aye, it may come to that. Stop, stop! Let's get moving! Seats trim too! Party! I said party! Someone blowing in! It's a break! The ancients are Spanish! They're all alone, sir! Go to Gallus and Royal! Reef the four men! All in the top field! Luzor, let's move! Hold on, lads! I think That's we've lost the man of war, sir! Spanish enzymes! Just a low ship, Cap! Loose all! Let's move! Loose topsails, gallants and royals! Friend of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect him.
They're firing motors! Good news for us. Bleeding bastards! We'll have to deal with this skirmish. The galleon, and send these interlopers to hell! Sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Maybe Susie and I, if 
you crawl too hard, you head down, boss. We're all down the world of Up socks, you cocks, and her two blocks. Way to the And go below to your old ditty box. Go down the world of mountain. Oh, rock and shake one more drag. He's off the wind! Call it all day! Oh, bend your duds and bang your bang! It's all down over the mountain! Let out some sail! Loose the mains, half sails! Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship, Stomp and shout I! Those who oppose, whimper nay. Never was the king's council so unified. <laughs> 